Dunes on Jupiter's volcanic moon Io Io is the Jupiter's third largest moon and the innermost of the four large Galilean satellites. It is the most volcanically active body in the solar system with over 400 active volcanoes, Io is the most geologically active object in the solar system. Io's surface is peppered with hundreds of volcanoes, some spewing sulfurous plumes hundreds of miles high. Io's volcanic activity was first discovered by NASA's Voyager missions in 1979. The moon's volcanism is driven by powerful tidal forces. Io's surface is primarily composed of sulfur and sulfur dioxide. Patches of sulfur dioxide frost have also been spotted on the surface, along with hundreds of volcanoes. The volcanic moon is Jupiter's third largest and the innermost Galilean satellite. It finds itself caught in a gravitational tug of war between Jupiter and two nearby Jovian moons Europa and Ganymede. These tidal forces generate the heat that drives Io's intense volcanic activity. Io's sulfur dioxide atmosphere is extremely thin which is about one billionth the surface pressure of Earth's atmosphere. Io has an icy, yet rolling surface, which has long perplexed scientists. However, using data from NASA's Galileo spacecraft, scientists have now developed a new explanation of how such dunes may form. The 14-year mission, which explored the Jupiter system from 1995 to 2003, provided images necessary to create the first detailed maps of Jupiter's moons, which the research team used to better understand the physical processes controlling grain motion on Io. Io's surface is changing at an incredible rate. Volcanic fissures ooze lava onto the moon's surface, filling impact craters and creating new floodplains of liquid rock. While Io's exact composition is unknown, it is likely molten sulfur and its compounds or silicate rock, according to NASA. Additionally, the Moon's thin atmosphere is primarily composed of sulfur dioxide. Astronomers have proposed, and quantitatively tested, a mechanism by which sand grains can move, and in turn dunes could be forming there. By nature, dunes are defined as hills or ridges of sand piled up by the wind. However, the Moon's low-density atmosphere means Io's winds are weak, suggesting its dunes must be formed by some other means. Io is the most volcanically active world in the solar system, sporting hundreds of volcanoes, some of which spew sulfurous plumes hundreds of miles or kilometers high. This amount of volcanic activity creates a varied surface, with a mix of black solidified lava flows and sand, flowing effusive lava streams and snows of sulfur dioxide. Astronomers used mathematical equations to simulate the force required to move grains on Io and calculated the path those grains would take. The study simulated the movement of a single grain of basalt or frost, revealing that the interaction between flowing lava and sulfur dioxide beneath the moon's surface creates venting that is dense and fast-moving enough to form large dune-like features on the moon's surface. Observations from NASA's Galileo spacecraft support the researchers' findings, showing that the spacing and height-to-width ratios of Io's crests are consistent with dunes seen on Earth and other worlds. Don't forget to subscribe Explore for more similar contents like this.